Good evening, guys. It's a little bit of a um, lazy day today. Well, lazy in the kitchen because I have been busy for most of the day. And I've talked to some of you today as well. So you know like how my day goes. So anyway, um, a lot of people are asking, how do you make fat coffee? What is fat coffee to begin with? Why do you need it, right? Um, so fat coffee, most people will probably be familiar more with bulletproof coffee. That's when you add um, coconut oil and grass-fed butter in your coffee. Yes, that's why it's called fat coffee. So basically, I just pre-brewed my coffee here. I know it's gonna be nighttime, but I probably need a little bit of coffee right now. So um, I just put a tablespoon of uh, Kerrygold. Hey, Danielle, hey, Kerry. So I like the Kerrygold um, unsalted because hey Joan hey uh Angie awesome I like the Kerrygold because it's um unsalted because you can always add more salt and I've done it so many times measuring butter I already know what how much one tablespoon is right so it is about one tablespoon you just pop it in the coffee and then um you take your coconut oil get about a tablespoon of it what you put in there. Um, if you have MCT, that's also something that's good there. So what's the difference between coconut oil and MCT? If you guys are on, I wanna see that you guys are on. Hey Tammy, hey Carrie. Um, so I use about a tablespoon. So coconut oil is 60% MCT oil. Um, and obviously MCT is 100% MCT oil. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is basically what I get from Amazon, right? So this would have 60% of this, and this is 100% MCT. Um, so I recommend coconut oil. If you don't can't find MCT, then this would be your second best bet. Hey, Patty. Hey, Brittany. Um, so we're just making fat coffee today. So there's a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of coconut oil in there. And if you want to put MCT double whammy, <laughs> you can put that in there too. Um, so the reason why you want to put grass-fed butter is for omega-3s, increase your fat intake. Obviously, if you're doing the ketogenic lifestyle, you definitely want to have as much fat in your uh, diet as much as possible to force your body to go into ketosis, right? Um, so what I do with my fat coffee is I put a little bit of vanilla extract to make it taste yummy. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Khadija. By the way, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot it out. I don't put up too much because, you know, vanilla extract is very powerful. And then pumpkin pie spice. How about that? You guys like that? I love it. It just makes it, you know, right now it's like 30 degrees in Louisiana and it definitely needs something hot. So not looking forward to drinking anything cold right now. I even make my ketones warm. My sister cow make it into a hot chocolate, right? Um, and then you just blend it. I think it's good. There you go. I like to blend it because otherwise the fat sits on top of it. <laughs> hey, Delena. Um, omega 3s and vanilla pumpkin coffee. Yep, definitely. You gotta be creative, right? So, this taste would taste like a pumpkin pie spice. If you want to put a little of stevia in there, um, let me just get the liquid stevia. And I'm back. <laughs> so, I put um, pure via stevia in there. It doesn't matter what brand it is, but um, I just put a, a little tiny squirt. Um, I use the liquid stevia because it has less carbs compared to the granules uh, uh, stevia. So that's pretty much it. Let me taste it real quick. Mmm, that pumpkin pie spice makes a huge difference. So um, if you are traveling, I'll be traveling in two weeks. I'll be in Boca Raton. If you're close by, I want to see you. Just let me know. We'll meet up. So um, I have keto cream if I'm traveling. It's a powdered form of basically everything that I put in there plus more. It's awesome. A lot of um, my clients love keto cream and starting their day with keto cream. Um, so any other questions, guys? Hey, Gina. Hey, Nikki. 
Thanks for joining. So we just talked about packed coffee. I'm going to drink my packed coffee now. It doesn't look like you guys have any questions, but if you participated in my 10 day keto course, I was actually going to announce the winner. I almost forgot. <laughs> so the winner, I already pre-picked her because I was so busy today. I didn't want to mess it up by doing it live. So the winner of my 10 day keto OS experience, keto OS just basically makes you go into ketosis in an hour. It's a powder. You mix it with water. You drink it. You're in ketosis in an hour, right? Um, so the winner of the 10 day keto master course basically I have a group of people, they all participated, they all went through the 10 day keto master course, they gave me their take, take away and for participating, I gave them um, a chance to be entered into a raffle to win a 10 day keto OS experience. She's not live with us right now, but the winner is Janine Copeland, J-Y-N-I-N-E Copeland. So if you're watching, send me your address and I will send your 10 day keto experience tomorrow. Congratulations, guys. That's really it. You guys don't have any questions. Oh, can you use keto cream in iced coffee? Um, you know, I've always wondered that, Danielle. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if it will mix well. So I don't know if you can maybe give it to your barista before or something like that. Experiment with it. If it doesn't <laughs> work, just scoop it out and eat it anyway, right? Because it's so good for you. So um, that's pretty much it. Hazy Mind Body Coffee. There you go. We're talking about fat coffee today. So if you missed the live, um, watch the replay once I post it. Thanks you, thank you for joining. Hey, Terry, Lisa, Khadija, and Joanna. Congratulations, Janine. Yeah, awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. I can't talk right now. Congratulations, Janine. If you're in my five-day Eat Keto Challenge, I will see you tonight at 8.30 p.m. Central to announce the winner of that challenge. Um, if you haven't seen the Keto Flush, let me message me about it. If you want in on it, we start January 22nd. Our last one, um, the last day to order is January 17th so that I, can sh I have time to ship it to you. Awesome, Brittany. Um, you'll be watching tomorrow too, Brittany. Uh, this is our only live. The live is tonight, so. <laughs> so funny all right Brittany I'm glad we got that settled I will see you tonight at 8 30 central bye guys thanks for tuning in